if the community would have come together and they did know their rights and they said, no, us as a community, the entire town, the entire city, we are saying no to this. They wouldn't have enough jail cells to, to make the businesses do that anyways. Let yeah. a, let they would have done it. They would have stopped. Yeah. You know, and our places all over the country that didn't shut down. There's, a, there's even, there are sheriffs that refuse to allow the state police or the county officers come and shut businesses down. One of them was um, uh, Mike Harrington in Chavez County, New Mexico, who actually published an open letter uh, that he sent to the governor saying, I'm the sheriff, you have no authority in my county. Every business is essential when people are, are keeping their, you know, funding their families and, and providing for their families. And he says, and he quoted the New Mexico constitution and said, uh, there will be no one who will be forcibly shut down in my county. Wow. And, and the county was not harassed. Now the governor of New Mexico went apoplectic but and started stomping her feet and holding her breath and making threats. But the bottom line is this, there were, there was no authority in her threats. She's a bully. And we saw this happen in every single state in the union. Even California and New York had sheriffs who refused to allow their communities be shut down. But the thing is, you don't see that in the media because that's mm -hmm. not, the narrative that the mainstream media wants to push. They want to push compliance and chaos because chaos is their currency. 